This right here is the flexible filleting knife by Wushtoff under their Icon line. The entire point of a flexible filleting knife is really just for fish. The whole point is you use it to break down a fish and mainly you put this under the head or through the head, you bend it like this and you pull everything through. And because you're bending it, you get all the meat off the skin very, very easily. It is flexible as you see, and it's actually very flexible, which I like a lot. A lot of times the knives that manufacturers make that they call flexible aren't actually flexible. But this you can see is really, really nice. Nice spring to it. The Icon line is essentially the highest end line that Wushtoff makes at the moment. And it's probably going to be their flagship line for years and years and years and years to come. It is essentially though 90% the same knife as the Classic with just some changes to blade geometry to make it cut better and then some changes to the actual handle to make it much more ergonomic and easy to use. The blade is made of their proprietary metal which is a 58 hardness and that makes it very very resilient but also very resilient to chipping and damage. So you get the best of both worlds. The blade is cut to a 14 degrees cutting angle which is because of their PE Tech technology, and that's essentially a laser controlled cutting system or grinding system. So it has this very, very thin, very, very sharp edge. And to put that in perspective, shoons, which are very, very well known for how sharp they are, are only a 16 degree angle, which is already extremely sharp. So this thing is two degrees thinner on either side, which is insanely sharp, and it really cuts through things like butter, and that's very, very useful, especially on a filleting knife where you're using your other hand to really do most of the cutting task by pulling through, through the knife. With that said, the majority of the difference here is with the actual handle. They've spent a lot of time and a lot of money and a lot of energy trying to make the most ergonomic handle they could. And it really feels like that. I feel like whatever way you hold the knife, whether it's a pinch grip or a pointer grip or like this, which you would essentially be using it like this when you're filleting a fish, it fits into your hand and makes the transition from your arm to the actual blade seamless. You can't even really feel if there's a knife in your hand. And that really makes a big difference. It has a full tang, obviously, and it has this nice lump of metal, which number one, makes it look really cool, but number two, also makes it essentially have extra weight towards the bottom to make it more ergonomic as well. The handles come in three different types. You can get either this black handle, which you see here, you can get a cream colored handle, which really pops when it's on the knife block. Or if you want to go all out, you can get the blackwood handle. And the name is sort of a misnomer because it's not really blackwood. It's very, very dark brown. It has a beautiful grain pattern and it comes from Africa, but it's also very, very tightly controlled and regulated. So only a few pieces come out every year. And Wushtoff grabbed them up and used them to make the handles of the knives. So they're very limited edition. And because of that, they are a premium knife. But if you want to have the best of the best of the best in your kitchen, those are definitely the way you would go. Either way, if you like German style knives, these are definitely the best you can grab. I will put a link down to them below. If you guys have any questions or comments or concerns, as always, let me know. Otherwise, I will talk to you very soon.